Hey family, this is Stephanie Bardet. I'm Habasa, helping your brothers and sisters in Africa. Y'all, it is Sunday morning. It's raining. It's been raining for some days now. I didn't know if we was gonna be able to go to the food forest or not this morning. Because even they have a, a fuel station strike because of the prices of gas. And so a fuel shortage. So anyway, y'all, we are determined. We are gonna be on our way there very shortly. Stay tuned. Traditionally, we call it a uh, fanto. The color is normally red, uh, red color. But now it's changing because it has stayed almost a year. But still it can germinate. Okay. So traditionally we call this fanto and we use it a lot. When I was young, I used to see my dad. Even before he make any structure in the compound, the first thing he will do is to dig a hole and then just cover it with the soil. So the following day when he comes, he will check whether it is removed from the soil. If he found it out, the following day, he would automatically know that maybe something has happened or somebody has taken it from where he buried it. So it's a signal that that place is not safe. Don't put anything there. So he will change the position to a new place. So since then, I'm always careful. I make sure that it doesn't disappear. In the past, if you go to any compound, you find it there. But today, it's almost disappearing. People are not preserving. But thank God, uh, 24 years ago, up till today, I'm still preserving. So I want it to be here too. So it normally climbs up like any other thing. It can form a very nice canopy and it will fruit like beans. Okay. So I don't even... Uh, and here people also use it when they have headache, problem with the head, they have headache, they just make a hole mm -hmm. and then tie it in the head okay. and it helps. Some will tie it on their waist, okay. uh, some even on their, uh, their hands. Okay. So they used to sell it at the market, but I want it to be preserved. Because one of the things in permaculture is, is just like permanent agriculture, a system of farming where you have to think about uh, everything that was here before. Yes. Uh, we, because once you know, once you don't know why nature created, why should you allow it to disappear? Yes. So this is one of the challenges we should be thinking about. In as much as we want to introduce, let's maintain what we already have. Yes. That was given to us for free. Yes. Now our challenge is why was it given to us in the beginning? Yes. How do we even preserve it? That is why I am doing for 24 years up till today. I am lucky to preserve this for the next generation. Yes. So and still more research could be done, both scientifically, traditionally, to find out the secret behind this. Yes. Uh, because it's not the only seed, but this one is special. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you. This is lemongrass that's going to be planted, and this is a tree that's also going to be planted. Everybody is already hard at work, and we just got here. Even our land manager was already out here doing something by himself, y'all. Now by himself. This is the Cora Sound tree. It's still here, y'all. Everybody all hard at work. And I'm hard at work recording, y'all. So our task today is to cover all the grasses so that they will decompose and become manure. This is why we are here. And this soil is very good, you see, it's so black. Nature is black. <laughs> so, <laughs> and this is very good. The color is beautiful and also it looks very good and fertile. So from this stage, you just plant anything and it works. Uh, natural fertilizer, no pesticide, no chemical. You just incorporate everything to the earth. So that's what we are doing today okay. with others. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So 
I'm not that hot to go for you. Okay. Hey, I'm putting it down the first label for the first donor since I've been in the Gambia. When you get here, you'll be able to see your tree planted in your name. Yeah. The palm tree was planted last week. And it's growing. Yes, it's growing. I'm going to the palm tree. Put it off. Mm -hmm. On. Okay. This is for the second uh, person that donated to the food forest since I've been in the Gambia. I appreciate you so much. Yeah. When you come, you can come and see your palm tree. Your palm tree, yeah. Okay. Appreciate both of you guys so yeah. much. We just cut a piece of sweet potato vine, y'all. Mm -hmm. Getting ready to plant it again. So this can even, we can even this alone, we can propagate it. <laughs> now you plant like this, huh? And the other one. After some time, it it, it grows. Yes. So as it grows, also you can cut and then propagate it yes I so love with it. little I even this only one bed you can make the whole garden yes. with potato yes so that's what i want them to under we have to start with what we have yes try to grow because yes. in permaculture you start with small slow solution then you increase gradually that's why i always say start small yes and grow big yes you see? and that depends on how you what you know Yes. And then how you make it better, always, yes. and efficient. Yes. So looking at the food crisis, food need, people need food. Yes. The population yes. is increasing. So the little space we have, make sure that we grow efficiently to maximize production. Yes. Yes. Because there are certain things that we have to intensify sustainably. That's what I told people. Certain things we have to intensify them sustainably. Uh, one is food, the other one is feed, the other thing is energy, our ecosystem, and of course, uh, fiber. Because we cannot go without these five things. We yes. have to sustainably in intensify their production. Yes. Uh, we cannot be producing on large scale without looking at the sustainability. Yes. This is why even commercial agriculture, I am not encouraging. Yes. I am encouraging food forests. Yes. Uh, Food forest, the whole concept there is any time. Because you are working on four things. The food you're going to grow, you make sure you grow it with your own hand. Yes. It's more reliable. And if somebody feeds you, yes. he can do anything to you. But yes. if you feed yourself using your own hand, yes. you grow your own food, yes. you're always careful how you produce it. Yes. And what you use to produce and even when to produce and the amount to produce because in permaculture you avoid total waste uh, nothing you should be wasting no so first thing is to grow things that are nutritive that you need naturally second is how to make them available all the time affordable and accessible yes otherwise you will never be secured in food right so this why these are the four things that we want to adhere to make everything available according to our need and the need of the people or the society. The second thing is how do we make it accessible so that anybody who wants at any time can come and buy yes. or can even you know, get it from us or we can also get it from it. Yes. And then the third one is how can people even uh, buy it? Yes. You see, so we work working on nutritive value, affordability, availability and accessibility. Yes. In order to be secured. So that's what we are working on. This why we don't we joke with the soil. And the soil is the most important thing. Yes. If you make it healthy, you have healthy food. Yes. If you don't make yourself uh, soil healthy, no way. You cannot have healthy food. No. And in commercial agriculture, they use machines, heavy machines. Yes. They use herbicides. They use pesticides. They use many things on the land against natural order. Yes. And permaculture, you go with natural order. Yes. You don't do anything against nature, but we go with nature. Yes. That's why we observe and do a the interaction part, how things are interacting yes. and produce no waste. And we use renewable energy for yes. that matter. Yes. Yes. And then we maximize yield. 
and we integrate, we don't segregate. Yes. And then we creatively use the space and we be ready for changes. Yes. And then also take feedback from what you do. Whatever you do, you have to look at the feedback. Mm -hmm. If I do this, what do I get from there? How yes. do I do it better? You always like to improve for better. Yes. You see? So this is why um, we are doing all this step number one, step number two, step number three. So from this level, we, our next thing is to start growing crops of our choice. Yes. Yeah, that's why today I brought some flowers. Yeah, and then not only flowers, I brought a lemon balm that also serves as repellent. And yes. then flower to attract bees for pollination. I brought some traditional seed that could be helpful for the next generation. Wonderful. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Okay. 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 And I was saying she added to the soil. Added some black sand to the soil to make the plant grow faster. Okay. Yeah. You like sand to the soil to make the plant grow plant faster. Plant grow faster because we don't apply fertilizer on the crops. Okay. We just do it like this. Very good. Yeah. This is a pear tree. This is a pear tree, yeah. We add some sand to it, black sand, to fasten the growth. We mix it. So that when the rain comes, it can mix together and fasten the growth of the crop. Okay. Yeah. Lemon on it. Okay. Done. Bring the tree. That's what I wanted to say. That's what they brought here today. The moringa tree. Well guys, if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you're coming back, welcome back. I appreciate and love all of you. No matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day. If you have not subscribed, please do. It's free, y'all. If you find it in your heart to donate to this wonderful project, please do. Through Habasia. Uh incorporated have a paypal direct link i'll put the information down in the description box it's just straight on our website or i'll put down the donation button please any amount dollar two on up is greatly appreciated y'all and needed gotta keep these cows from coming here eating up our uh crops before they grow. <laughs> These cows something else, y'all. They supposed to be up because it's rainy season, but they do their own thing, y'all. You know cows. Gotta raise the fence about four more bricks high and then put the local fence in. Thank you so much for considering. It's an opportunity for y'all to be blessed also. 
because that's what Maya Angelou said. That among other things, giving blesses the giver. And they also said in the good book, we are blessed to be a blessing to others. Look at all these trees, y'all. So green. There's my sweet potatoes. Look just like my sweet potatoes in Galveston. Yes, they do. And this is the mix. This is the Mexican sunflower, I think. And it's used for insecticide, a natural insecticide to make a tea with it. And it becomes a natural insecticide, pesticide. Yeah, it also fertilizes the soil. Look at that grasshopper. More sweet potato plants. You can eat the sweet potatoes and it also makes the uh, soil fertile, natural fertilizer. And look y'all, that's another coconut tree over there. We have them all over, you see? Coconut, they all short coconuts. Short coconuts. This purple flower is, but it's natural to the man, y'all. This is Moringa, but by Mr. Baja. Some herb bush. And this is lemongrass, but by Silly. Removing the chicken wire from around the trees and cleaning them up. to remove the dead leaves. Removing the dead leaves yes, from a not. tango tree. It will affect the growth. Okay. They are not needed. This is orange tree and the name is tango, as you can see. Okay. Yes. It's a very sweet orange tree. And it is growing tall. It's been planted in June. Okay. And we are in September. It's growing fast and tall. Yes, Taller than is. the one that grew it already. <laughs> The crops are growing so well, as you all can see. And here is your tree over there. Yeah, it's really growing. The umbrella tree. Yeah. <laughs> some black sand. It's just leaning to the side a little bit. Look like it need a little support. Peanut shells and leaf, natural manure. It's gonna be used to cover the land to make it more fertile. They're going to level up my tree. You can eat the whole of this farm within one night. It is very dangerous. Oh, okay. Yeah. That caterpillar was released into the land that's not ours. It can eat there and turn into a butterfly there. Beautiful but dangerous on your land. So it's going to go somewhere else released alive to turn into a butterfly to empty land. You know, he got a support out of the bush to support the tree. Thank you.
Yes. He's gonna make a natural tie. He helps support the young tree so it won't be gone to the side. Yes, good. <laughs> <laughs> they turn it over their soil, y'all. So they make a whole lot of fertile soil to do the crop planting next time. <laughs> We only need a uh, uh, fruits, a banja, but we have to. And 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 so nature don't create anything that is waste and can cause harm to humanity. No. We have to dip in why yeah. and how. Yeah. You see, so this is why we have to, we are lucky. No, definitely so, we need more research. Thank you. In order to so, prove some of the things, you know. Some of the things in a value is beyond, hey, uh, beyond our imagine, value. imagination. Of uh -huh. But they can have other values which we don't even discover uh -huh. yet. Yes. And yes. they are very important. Yes. So knowledge is power, yeah. and we have to make sure that we work with the mindset of mm -hmm. the people. Mm -hmm. Because uh, this development they cannot know without knowledge. No, no, no. And knowledge mm -hmm. uh, can give you power and wealth. Mm -hmm. So, but if you don't have knowledge, yeah. you are powerless. Oh, yeah. Somebody who thinks for you mm -hmm. can use controls you, you and controls you. Exactly. You see, can even decide for you. Mm -hmm. And that is where we fail as mm -hmm. uh, people. Uh, we have to own our own destiny. Because this is why I need to think about like this man. How to call it? We want to carry more. Can I find your Osman Tule? Okay. Who is Osman Tule? Number. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Pan African and solo. Okay, okay. That Osman, yeah, I remember. Yes. That boy. University student. Aha. Uh -huh. I can only wonder. Yes. Because that means until we cannot think, only these people can think. No, we have to and come. And suggest it for us. That, that do. what we are thinking is not useful. What they thinking is. It's development not. start with the mindset. So the mindset of Thank the people. You. And success <laughs> start with ideas. Exactly. Success don't yes. start when you start implementing. No, 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 no. It's the time you think how you use your brain. And, then and we can solve all our problems without any support. No. Take our family. Ah, no, it's true. Yeah. Because it's nature true. is so beautiful and wonderful mm. that he has given us potential. <laughs> potential, yeah. potential in everybody. Yeah. This is why we have to value every human being. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even the blind people, mm -hmm. they can make us. Oh yes, they can. The they deaf can. people who can it's just because really of it's just because of we categorize them in a, a certain position. So this they say okay, and then make because them we are blind. So that's mean we have no. This is why they don't use their potential. Uh, so ability is different. So they are they are only for charity. Thank you. So people, we have thank you. That's it. We make them lazy, and then we have to empower them through giving them. The, that's why I say so, uh, success starts with confident building. If you give confidence to somebody, you make him survive. You see, forever. So number that's where our leaders should think about how to build confidence in us, so that we see our potential and our power that we can do it. Because nobody is stupid. You see, no, no, no. No. Opportunities differ, but the man, we are all equally given the same opportunity. It's like someone from America. Thank you. Are you from Gambia? What are the differences? Nothing, absolutely. He or she probably lived in an opportunity land. Thank you. Well, yes, still. And that opportunity was created by somebody who thinks in those days. Exactly. Today, the person is enjoying. Exactly. So that's what we need today.
We need people who should think for people yet on board. Uh, and we prepare for them. Yes. Yeah. European success is not caused by people who are so. It's that we belong to the world. No, no, no. But we work and hard. The satisfaction. And the thing is, we think. Yeah. The best. They could have been our best role model. Why? Mm -hmm. All the successful stories they made, mm -hmm. we could borrow from them. Yeah. Apply it, and that suit us locally, and avoid all the mistakes they created. And we have better advantage because yeah, yeah. we are with natural. Yeah, yes. So and they lose nature. Exactly. The, and social life they lose it. They so lose if it. we can lose social is the most important. Built on our environment, we live natural. Most of them when they come and then here, our social, and see us socialize. They surprise. How do these people manage to connect? How do they manage Imagine to connect? They know this, I, you know? I, I, I knew the brother a long time before him. Before him. Thank you. Today, I uh, went chatting, I asked him, who is, are you really his no, you man, connected so, to him again. Again. <laughs> And that was in early 98, yeah, almost 23 years ago. <laughs> I met one of his family members. Today, I'm meeting him for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So still, we, you know, you can see the connection. <laughs> so I think we are, we are on track. Yes, sir. Yeah, we need yeah. to nurture our relationship, uh, build our potential. Yeah work together yeah. and then we move on yeah. because we own the power. Mm -hmm. uh, power is mm -hmm. does not belong to anybody. Mm -hmm. Your own power is your own uh, own hand. Don't yeah. allow you to give your power to somebody no. to lead you. Yeah. When you are even given the power, pass it to be more yeah, powerful. That's what Stephanie yeah. said. That who feels you control you. Of course, and this is where the food is. You see, food is our life. You cannot go without food. So I'm not only feeding you, but somebody who decides for you. Controls you. you. You're stupid. Yes, controls you. you. Well, you have to answer to him Thank or her. And you what know, he will not show you what he's thinking. Yeah. So, this, uh, look at all these UN oh, summits you know, and all yeah. Why are they calling our African leaders to go for UN summits? Mm -hmm. Because they want to think for them. Mm -hmm. Come with resolutions. Mm -hmm. Come with suggestions. Mm -hmm. Come with visions. Mm -hmm. Strategies. Mm -hmm. You see? They say Melodian Development Goals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we should have our own goals. Yes, we should. We should. <laughs> so, <laughs> their goal and our goal are different. Yes, <laughs> so totally different. different. We should come with our own goal. I <laughs> 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 How green the bush is, y'all. The rainy season helped a lot. All the land behind me is not my land, y'all. Some neighbors in the future land. But still, you can see this plant that's used to uh, fight mosquitoes. You put a piece underneath your bed mm -hmm. to keep the mosquitoes away. Okay. Ah, these are some of the flowers I brought. This is what we call Sina. It's a Sina family here. It's antibiotic. Okay. People with low blood this is what we advise them. Women, if they deliver, mm -hmm. this is what we advise them to drink. Okay. And if you have severe headache, mm -hmm. so we take the leaf like this, remove it. If you have a cup, you just put it inside and cover it. Remove the heat from the, and at the head. Okay. So we use it for many purposes. But we now making tea out of this, just like coffee. The seed is used for coffee. and. It has a lot of medicinal, but the Sina family. Okay. Yeah. So here is a local Sina, but we have been using it for many years. Okay. Since I was young, this is what our mothers use. Even if you have this high temperature at night, they use this to cool the temperature down. Okay. So if you have these pimples on your body, they use it as antibiotic too. Okay. Uh, just make a, take the leaf and then squeeze it. Mm -hmm. You put water and then you drink. Okay. Uh, at least two, three times a day. 
So it's very good. Yeah, okay. uh, so you can make tea out of it too. Okay. Yeah, thank you. These are all natural herbs. Okay. No chemical. So we are promoting this here. And these are some of the flowers from my garden. So I donate. Yeah, because in permaculture we plant anything that nature plant. Yes. Uh, we bring in flowers for beautification and also to attract bees mm. for pollination. Because here is going to be a school, I wish, yes. so that people can be visiting. Yes. So they can see diversity yes. of what we have in the Gambia. Ranging from animals to food to trees to plants to etc. But uh, that's what I wish. And one day, inshallah, we'll reach that level. We will. But step by step. Yes. Yeah. It's just the beginning of the journey and not the end of the journey. Yes. Uh, together we can reach our destination. Yes, Thank we can. You. Thank you. Yes, Bukaji's vision is also my vision. He's seeing this as a school, and I'm seeing this as a learning laboratory for the world. As we'll continue to show videos right from the site, and we will have it open to the public within the next couple years, because it'll look like a food forest by then. I like a baby food forest. And people can just donate at the gate to help us to continue maintaining and enlarging the food for us. Right now it's open to the volunteers and the community and our patrons and also our donors. Because lots of times our donors even contribute more than Patreon for a whole year. Yep. Come join us, y'all. Join us. Donate today. He's bringing in the lemongrass, y'all. Like my two. They grow very fast. You can make your tea out of it. Yes. Thank you. You dry it on the shed, you have your nice tea. Huh? Yes. Uh, and the smell also is mosquito repellent. And okay. it's a very nice tea, citrone, we call it lemongrass. So it's medicinal, at the same time it can make the area very nice. Once you are walking the aroma, the smell also, you like it, you know? Yeah, and also can serve as insect repellent. Yeah, we want to use anything that is friendly to the environment yes. and to the health. So lemongrass, thank God today it is here. So I brought other things also like doctor. Yeah, I don't know the name in English, but we call it doctor here. Okay. But African something. Yeah, so it has the ability to kill many diseases. Okay. I also brought Moringa. But Moringa, I prefer we put around the perimeter. Yeah. Uh, around the perimeter. But the lemon, lemon grass, we put uh, here okay. on the highway. This is our main highway. Yeah, that Once you enter, you can. And some of these are flowers. They are just like potato. Once you grow them, they are okay. They okay. can also reduce. Uh, this one is lemon balm. Lemon balm. So it's a medicinal. Yeah, so we can make nice tea. Okay. For those who cannot sleep well at night, this is the solution. Okay. <laughs> it's our sleeping tablet. Well. <laughs> sleeping tablet, huh? I mean, it's not a But Inshallah. Natural sleep aid. I like this, just like potato, huh? Yes. Uh, See, this is how we plant it. The color, the flower attract bees for pollination. So it's normally yellow in color. So this is how we grow, we plant it. 
So this is called what we call doctor. It's so bitter or oh, bitter leaf. It's bitter leaf. It's so okay, bitter Yes. Yeah, I have that in my backyard in I could remember you saw it in yes. one of the videos. <laughs> yeah. So we are blessed to have this. I have plenty of this. I use it for life fencing yes. in my garden. Because if you plant one, it makes... Yes, I grow. have lots so, now. You know, this is why I want to encourage in the future we make them as life fencing. But I want to, you want to preserve it first. And very easy to establish. Yes. Even the stick. Yes, that's all they use was one stick and put it in my backyard. Yeah. Only one stick. Now we have four. So I like to make things unique and balanced. Yes. If we take one side, you make the other one. Too. Okay. Better leave y'all. <laughs> so we go this way. Yeah. I to make them balance. Okay. Go. Get a design killing you. I'll come again. Who can decide now? Maybe I'll just see all of Them in, yeah, in rows. Planting them in rows, yeah. Make Making it a balance. What you have on the right, you have on the left side. <laughs> yes. What's on the right side is going to be on the left. <laughs> Yeah. And the balance. See? They go like this. Yes. Oh, very nice. <laughs> no, it will be wonderful. The shape is coming, you know? Yes, it, it is. It will be like flowers. Flowers, yes. thank you. When you can use them to us. Yes, that's going to be beautiful. See how it is? We have a mungere fed there.
Very nice, it's a yellow color. I like this because you can put You can put this to suppress weeds and also reduce erosion. Because not a white abundant yamo bukana. I do bukoko patata bukafa. So I can no doubt that bun den demo, den si den demo. It will be so nice and wonderful. Okay, thank you. Oh, oh, good job. Well, now I can see that the monkey has made it back. It was a monkey. Hello. You got me no money. We back at the Eagle House the first time. I was able to catch one of these birds before they flew off. Have so many different bird species come to the game. We made it back, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy all the stuff I put together. It's hot, y'all. Mike, Texas. Oh, and I think it's drier than Texas. So I had to keep hitting myself with this wet towel. So until next time, y'all. Peace, peace. Power to the people. And I'm out, y'all. Bye.